What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Big One Robles, aka Stan Nelson with Top Deck Gaming, and today I am bringing you a deck profile for my Kimono deck. Um, it's kind of my own twist on it. Uh, it's pretty much the same that you would find anywhere else, but um, this is what I'm running. And uh, without further ado, let's get right on into it, guys. All right, so bring up our turn zeros. We have two Hotaras. Pretty self-explanatory. She either lets you dr uh, draw or put a growth point on her. And um, yeah, three zero, zero zero, not too bad. Staple for most decks. We got two Tauntauns. This one's pretty cool uh, because you can flip a coin and if it's heads, you can search for a Shizune Ninja card uh, in your deck. Uh, that's really the only reason why it's in there to kind of help filter. I played two Rockley Loopy Fist. Um, yeah, he's male, but uh, his whole entire, you know, every mission phase, you can flip a coin thing. Uh, definitely is strong for the deck, uh, especially when you have a lot of your uh, decent commandos out that give you the uh, plus effects. And uh, the negative isn't so bad, um, just because there are mission cards that allow you to uh, reflip. Two soccer Haranos, uh, Kimono, uh, if heads, I can draw a card. If tails, it should become 0-0 zero, zero for the turn. Pretty sub, uh, sub explanatory. The card draw is always good. Play two Hanada Kimonos. This card's freaking amazing. This is like one of the best cards in the deck. Uh, Hanada is really cool because uh, every time you flip a coin, uh, if it's heads, your opponent must discard one card from the hand. So if you can play the deck correctly, uh, it's very possible to get three or four uh, discards uh, in a turn. Uh, she should probably be limited, uh, if not banned, but um, let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, one of my favorite cards. Uh, one more uh, Hinata. This one was just in here because I didn't really want to want. Th I didn't want to run three of these just in case, but she allows you to uh, discard in, uh, to change a, the the result of a flip to heads. So it's just another kind of safety net for you. So that's the turn zeros, turn ones. Two Tamari Windscythe, because this card is too good not to play. Uh, anytime you have a card that lets you search your opponent's hand, or look at your opponent's hand, and then hit one Jutsu out of it into their chakra area, it's uh, very powerful. She's good early game and late game. <clears throat> Last turn ones, Yakumo. I put her in here just because I kind of needed a spot to fill, but I also really like her effect. Most uh, ninjas between 0 and 2 that people are playing are not Genjutsu. And what she does is she gives uh, ninjas with inch cost 2 or less who do not have Genjutsu negative 2, negative 0. So that's across the board also, so she really helps to uh, lessen your opponent's team power and uh, give you the advantage. Turn 3s, I played 2 Shizune. I really like this Shizune. Um, a lot of people don't actually play this one because her uh, secondary effect is really uh, bad. Considering uh, if you get a Tells, you have to discard one of your uh, in-play male ninjas. But with the way the deck runs, I hardly ever run into that situation. And uh, when you get heads, she does uh, give all your females plus one, plus one. So your teams can get really big, really fast. Last turn threes are Chio, uh, <coughs> Sacrifice. I really enjoy this Chio uh, because she basically lets you uh, recycle cards from your discard pile. So what she says is during, uh, the, during your mission phase, you can remove her from the game. In that case, put in play a wind ninja card from your uh, discard pile into play as long as it matches your um, turn marker. Uh, so, like, say, you know, you lose something that you really need, Chio helps you bring that back, um, especially like the Sonate that kind of basically runs the deck. Uh, so, Chio is always a good option. <clears throat> right into turn fours, I have two Ankos. Her flip effect says that if you flip a ninja blade coin, if you get heads, um, you can uh, place a growth coin on one of your ninjas. So again, she gets your ninjas pretty uh, beefy, uh, just a very strong card. The downside is if you get tails, uh, you do have to discard to your chakra. But this deck does generate chakra well enough to the point where that doesn't really become an issue. Uh, turn four, uh, I play one platoon. I played the Tamari and Conqueror uh, platoon. I play this just because, again, it lets you see your opponent's hand, and additionally, um, you can discard one card from it. Or they can get the effect by discarding two cards from their hand. He is a male, so, you know, it doesn't really fit the theme of the deck, but again, I don't really run into the problem of having to get rid of my males, and so uh, this, this card definitely helps. Running to my turn five, so I got my current eyes. Um, sexy, sexy mama right here. Uh, basically, when you put her into play, you flip a coin, and then this card is so good because uh, when you get a heads, your opponent's male ninjas cannot become the user of Jutsu cards. So right there, it's negation all in itself. Uh, her other her downside effect really isn't that bad because if you get tails, both players draw a card. 
So it's not super horrible, but uh, that, that plus effect is amazing. <laughs> Rounding out my ninjas, I play three Tsunade Kimonos. It might seem excessive, but to me, three is the necessary evil, uh, simply because you can pay one chakra to flip a coin, so you can constantly be getting off your effects. Additionally, uh, you're, during your mission phase, it costs zero. If you have three or more other female ninjas in play, you can bring one Winjutsu from your discard pile back to your hand. So with her effect of paying the one to flip the coin, you can just drop a Jutsu into your uh, discard, hopefully get the heads effect, and then just go ahead and get that Jutsu back. So yeah, three of these. I wish I had two more foil, but that's that'll come, I'm sure. I play one client, Ami. Ami's an amazing card. Uh, if you don't know what she does, she's basically a wind scythe on steroids. Uh, she can uh, look at your opponent's hand as long as you have two or more um, female ninjas in play. And what she does is you can select his jutsu or mission card in their hands and then discard it. Ami's awesome. Uh, I sideboard one extra just in case if I ever think I need to play two. But if you're playing females, this card's the way to go. Right into missions, guys. I play two never ending loves. Um, Self explanatory. This card is way too broken. Well, not broken, but this card is way too strong for a turn one card. It lets you draw three cards and then you can't organize, but on turn one, organizing really isn't much of an issue. Uh, besides, it's beautiful art. If you don't have these, definitely pick them up. I mean, they run in every deck, basically. It's a wind earth, so any else, fantastic. I play three Dreams of the Past. Now, this is the card that basically makes the deck run well. Dreams of the Past says when it comes into play, you can draw one card, and then when you flip a coin, you can ignore the result and flip it again. And you can use this effect up to twice per turn. So, you know, if you're putting in your uh, Komodo Ninjas, you get a Tails, just reflip, Tails, reflip, hopefully you get a Heads. I mean, you have three chances, so uh, odds are you're probably going to end up with a Heads uh, somewhere down the road. And so I play three of these, so every time I do actually flip a coin, I can hopefully, you know, have two on these filled. So, like, the one goes off and I use this, the other one I do use it with this one, so on and so forth. Dreams of Past, fantastic. And it's a turn one. Turn twos, Bad Dream. This card basically protects your your females. That's all it really does. Uh, but when it, when it comes into play, you do get to draw two cards, as long as you only have female ninjas in play. Additionally, uh, your female ninjas cannot be affected by the uh, effects of your opponent's male ninjas. So, uh, ninja effects, jutsus, awesome. Uh, turn threes, Sakura's Desire. Uh, this to me is one of the best draw cards in the game. Uh, I don't know why people, more people don't use it. Basically, uh, you can discard two win cards from your hand. If you discard one win card, you draw three. If you discard two win cards, you get to draw four. So it definitely gives you that card draw, um, keeps your hand super, super healthy. Additionally, while it's in your chakra area, <coughs> your soccer Harno gets plus one entrance cost and uh, plus one mental power. That part is not really that big of a deal, but it's the uh, the super card draw that you were looking for. Last missions is Daydreaming. Uh, this card is late game, but uh, it definitely helps bolster your hand uh, if you end up playing it. Uh, it lets you draw two cards, and then you flip a coin, and if it's heads, you can heal one of your ninjas and place one growth coin. I'm sorry, uh, heal one of your ninjas. If it's tails, you place a growth coin on one of your ninjas. Additionally, the effect, uh, the secondary effect says your maximum hand size is increased by two. With the amount of card draw you're really doing for the deck, um, it definitely comes in handy, especially when uh, you really don't want to have to discard it in your turn, and uh, it lets you have eight cards in your hand. So, keeps your hand healthy, definitely scary for your opponent. Uh, right into Jutsus, I'm just going to run these uh, first four out for you guys. The reason why there's only four one of these in the deck is because, quite frankly, this is limited. Uh, and this one, I only have one of. Um, if I had more, I'd probably take this out and put an additional one of these. But we have Infinite Embrace. It's great for flip decks because regardless of the uh, flip that you get, that inch is either going to the opponent's hand or going to their chakra area. It's a little bit of a pricey card, but this deck builds enough chakra that uh, you don't really ever have to worry about it. And usually, you know, I'd use um, Dreams of the Past to make sure I get the heads flipped so I can also plus off of my uh, Komodo Ninja effects. Suchigomo uh, is way too long, so I'm not going to read it all. But this card's great for wind and lightning decks uh, effect. You charge one card from your hand, and then you draw two cards. So, I mean, super early game. Uh, kind of gives you a little bit extra boost uh, when you need it. 
And you guys know what these do. FBG, if you're buying Genjutsu. It's one of those cards you just put in every single deck, honestly. Um, makes ninjas battling against you standby. And then the additional effect of if that ninja had a Genjutsu combat attribute, uh, you give one damage. So I think the only person who has Genjutsu is Yakumo and Kuranai. So if they happen to use it, that's awesome. But this is really just to kind of keep your team safe. Three Chakra is really nothing when you're playing this card. And then obviously Hydro Pump, just a really strong win card. You know, you know bumps ninjas back to your opponent's hand. Uh, you can pay either three Wind Chakra or four anything, so again, it can go into any deck. But uh, if for the purpose of this deck, you know, paying that three is really not that big of a deal, especially with Tsunade, I can constantly bring these juices back to my hand, so that's always scary. I got two Ferocious Punches here. This is basically just a negate card. Uh, the requirements are female or medical. You target one jutsu being played. You negate it additionally in that um, negate, negate and discard additionally give one damage to uh, the user of that jutsu. And if you have expert Tsunade, you won battle ward. Uh, just good stuff. I originally had a counter in the deck. And the reason why I had counter over this card is because uh, this changes the effect of the jutsu instead of negating. A lot of cards these days they say, oh, I can't be negated or whatever kind of bull uh, it's, you know, that they're running. And so this is why I played this one initially. Uh, so I sideboard this one. I keep this one in just for the simple fact that uh, it, does it does discard. But yeah. <clears throat> I played two reanimation ninjutsus. This card again is just a really powerful card. It costs one wind or two anything and you target one injured ninja. And uh, basically, the card, it says you can either uh, heal or draw, but the card has been errated to you can draw and heal. Um, so you get both effects. And then if a user of this card has a medical combat attribute, you get to uh, move one card from your discard pile to your hand. So again, it's another way to kind of get back what you need um, if your opponent kills it off or whatever it is. And uh, I don't know, it's just a good card, especially when you're like chump blocking or something and you use this just to get the card draw. And then additionally... Um, Pulling back that card from your discard pile. Last Jutsus are Chameleon Jutsu. Uh, this card's really cool. Uh, I put it in here because it has a pretty decent flip effect. Uh, it costs two anything, and it targets the user, and it says uh, flip a coin. If it's heads, the user gets plus zero, plus four during the turn, and if you flip a tails, it gets plus zero, plus two during the turn. Additionally, you get to draw a card if you get the tails effect. Uh, so obviously you're using it with your back ninjas to bolster your team power. But again, comboing this with all the flip effects for the Kimono Girls, it's just this deck gets so ridiculous so fast. Um, especially if you're playing it uh, correctly. So I ran three of these. Uh, it seems excessive, but I figured because it was only two, and I can pay four Chakra to basically bump my team by eight, and five Shizune, additionally bumping it by another six team power. Um, your team of like nine gets to a team of like 24, and it's kind of hard to get around that so uh kimonos that's the deck super freaking strong i have a ton of fun playing it um it's not it's not super competitive but it definitely holds its own against certain decks so if you guys like what you saw actually you know what i'm not done yet i should probably go into my side deck it's kind of uh it's kind of crap honestly the side deck but um i'll pull it down so for the side deck i played one kareen uh, for the heal aspect, because it's always good to keep your ninjas healthy. So she's in there. Uh, in case I'm playing somebody who like squads a lot, I sideboarded this Tamari. Uh, I'm sorry, not they're not squads. What is this? Oh, for permanent missions. Uh, missions are detrimental to any deck that you're playing, and because of that very reason, I have it her in here. And this because my opponent's playing uh, like a mission heavy deck, uh, I'm able to uh, knock those out of the game. And I would switch her out for one scythe. But she hardly ever comes in just because one scythe and hitting the jutsu is just so much better. Like I said earlier, I play an additional Ami um, just to make sure I see her if I really need her. Uh, I play one of this client. Uh, he's pretty decent. Uh, he lets you negate missions if you have four or more female ninjas in, in play. Um, additionally, he gives them plus one plus one during the turn. Um, they are put in play. So, I mean, he's okay. He'll probably come out for something different, like uh, comparative strengths or something like that, but that's what he's there for. Play two Lack of Sensitivities. Basically all this says is heal all of your female ninjas and injure all of your opponent's male ninjas. It's one. Yeah, one of your injured female ninjas and one of your opponent's male ninjas. 
So if your opponent has a Moninja that's hurting you with a seriously good effect, drop this into play, probably heal Sonate or something, and then uh, give it, you know, and then injure, you know, that ninja that's that's hurting you to, in case their effect's like not valid or something. Uh, two secret books. I don't particularly like this mission. Uh, it's not that good for its turn cost. Uh, but it does uh, target one mission and um, and it gets it and moves to the top of the orange deck. That's the main reason why I don't like it, because uh, it doesn't like to get in discard. It just puts the top of the orange deck, so they're, sp they're still going to draw into it, more than likely. And it's a turn three, so it just feels super late for a counter, um, especially for this deck. And then I played one Violent Emotion, which uh, lets me look at the top X cards in my deck based off the number of female ninjas I have, and then I believe it's like search for a ninja among those and then put it to your hand. So Violent Emotion's pretty good. Jutsu Remission. Oh, Jutsu Remission. So that one's pretty good. Uh, it is a turn two. I don't, like I said, I don't, this is kind of thrown together. I don't really use this sideboard a whole lot, um, but it's there in case I need it. And then I haven't really put together a uh, an extra deck, but for now it's these two guys, uh, or two females, I should say. And so we all know what this one does. It's pretty good. And then Sakura, Harno, and Tsunade. Um, this is a really cool card. It says, uh, while you only have female ninjas in play, um, each of your female ninjas, including this ninja, cannot be affected by the effects of jutsu cards used by your opponent's male ninjas. Um, and then, uh, and effects. So, it's pretty decent. Um, Tsunade by herself, the Komodo one, is her effects way better um, for the purpose of the deck. And additionally, uh, that's what Bad Dream is for. So Bad Dream kind of is, Bad Dream and Sonata are basically the uh, separate cards that make up this one card. It is a 9-4, so it's super beefy, it does have pretty strong mental power, so I guess, you know, situationally, it can come in handy. But, again, this deck's kind of, well the deck's not thrown together, but the side deck and the uh, extra deck are definitely thrown together. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile for my Kimono Girls deck. It's super beautiful deck, it's super sexy. Uh, on top of that, is it's it's just a ton of fun to play. I mean, I don't use it competitively, like I said. But if you guys like what you saw, definitely you know like uh, the video, uh, comment uh, down below uh, any suggestions for the deck you guys might have that I could definitely throw in there, because uh, I'm always looking for the feedback, guys. And so with that, that was Komodos. My name is Big Juan Robles, and for those of you keeping the Naruto CCG Dream alive, salute you.